My name is Jonathan Fortney. I'm a fifth grade teacher in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I met John Fortney via Twitter, and he was kind enough to invite me to be a guest on his podcast. Today, we're going to sit down and explore meaningful ways to communicate with parents. Um, so if we're talking about uh, meaningful ways to communicate with parents, the first thing you would do is think about the issue from a parent perspective. You had talked about some data that you had seen about yeah. uh, how parents like to communicate with schools. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, totally. Um, so pretty much what I had seen, just a reflection on an article that I think Blackboard actually put out. Um, but it was talking about what teachers, like how teachers like to communicate with parents, how parents like to be communicated with, and then how principals like to communicate with parents. And it was saying parents like receiving emails more than pretty much anything else that principals typically like doing robocalls or automatic calls, but literally everyone hates receiving those. Unless um, it's a school is canceled robocall. That, that's a good one, but... <laughs> I feel like the worst parent ever. Like I can't keep track of all the papers and emails right. and phone calls. And my son's teacher does use class dojo. Okay. And I personally, as a professional, have mixed feelings about it. But as a parent, I get really excited when she posts a picture. I get like a little right. notification. I'm like, oh, he's in class. What are they doing? You know, so, <laughs> so from that sense, like I like seeing what's going on. Just because I might prefer it one way doesn't mean that that's the way another parent would prefer right. it to be communicated with. And honestly, I think it's kind of like dealing with parents is sort of like dealing with students, that there isn't yeah. just one right way and that the more different modalities you can use, um, the more then, likely you are to reach them. And then in a lot of senses, obviously professionalism is super important. We have to keep that at the ground level always. But the, like email is so cold and impersonal lots of times and i think that it's important to like actually build relationships with parents as well just like we do with our students how do we go about doing that well let's see so my goals for communicating with parents mm -hmm. and i think that this will probably feed into it are mm -hmm. it being easy to reach or mm -hmm. sorry that was wrong easy for me like easy for me to communicate yeah um reach a broad audience so that me recognizing that not all of the parents are going to be on Instagram or on Twitter. Really communicate with parents how they would prefer to be communicated with. Mm -hmm. And so I guess I wonder if the best option would be to start the school year off with a survey, mm -hmm. like a Google form or something like that, and say, what what's the best way for you to be, or what how would you prefer to receive information about your child? Yeah. Um, what if we invented an app and parents signed up for their favorite means oh of communication gosh. and then oh, I just have talking. to I have to send out the woof and then it only goes to those things that they picked. Did we just become millionaires? What? I don't know. <laughs> In my district, they have actually suggested Google Voice. So I did sign up for it, but I've had zero calls on it since I set it up. Yeah. Um, okay, so your plans for this upcoming school year. Um, we kind of thought about like what some of the possibilities are. So for this upcoming right. school year, do you have a plan of action? Like Yeah, so like I said, I was gonna bite the bullet, do that spreadsheet. How do you wanna be communicated with? I do also intend on creating a class Instagram account. Um, Instagram, I have a surprising number. That wasn't this originally when I first started it, but I have a surprising number of students and then also parents that yeah. are on Instagram um, and less PLN, although I do follow a lot of other teachers and things like that, but a lot less kind of like interaction on, on that level. Twitter, I have some parents, but mostly other teachers, right. um, more PLN-ish. I know that a lot of parents use like Facebook groups and things like that, but I'm just, I, I am it's a not, Facebook hater. Yeah, it's just like not gonna happen for me. And how cool would it be is if like a student's work was posted on Instagram and they are so psyched about it being there and they share it with their friends. Look, like, look at this 
thing that I did. And they, and they are, and they do actually, right. I've had, I've had students that like, they're doing something in class on take picture and be like, oh, are you putting it up on Instagram? You know? And that's when my seventh grade girls tell me, you're going to put it on the gram. And I go, is that how it's said? Put it on the gram. So now like I say it, like I know what I'm talking about, but I yeah. do have a policy of, um, I tell them, I'm like, students, if you want to follow this account, you are more than welcome to, but I do not follow, I do not follow students back. I go, and if that makes you angry and you're not going to follow me, then I'm okay. I said, I'm not in it for the followers, but um, you have to understand that. So in thinking about all of this, all of these different uh, avenues and things, it sounds like moving forward, the plan, um, number one, surveying parents to find out how they want to be communicated yeah. with is, is really key. But it also seems like um, some mm -hmm. way of doing that instant texting is also important, whether it ends up being like, like let's just say like you use a class dojo for that, or you use yeah. Remind for that, or mm -hmm. you use Google Voice for that. But right. I think the class Instagram thing is a, is a great idea to have some way to share out what's happening in the classroom. I know that just being visible um, is helpful for, you know, parents and students, but also just stuff I've seen within my own district. Mm -hmm. They teachers at other schools seeing what you're doing, administrators seeing what you're doing, people outside your school too. seeing what you're doing. Yeah, they, they reach out, even just making connections, networking, like how did we find each other, you know, through yeah. through Twitter and stuff like that. Do you ever think about like doing like the student takeover with Instagram and having oh, them? Oh, that's such a cool idea. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know how like uh, there's like student of the month or it's your birthday. Right. So you could tell us about that. Like you get to be like Instagram takeover for the, you know, for the week yeah. or whatever. That'd be kind of, that could be kind of cool. And then, so I think that the final uh, major communication thing that I would do is just maintain a class website. So it would be a great file cabinet. Mm-hmm. I don't like sending home paper. Plus, backpacks are notorious for making things disappear. Maybe if I want to send out a headline of something to parents, like picture day is blah, blah, blah. For more information, visit yeah. the class website or something like that. My brain to... my brain immediately went to like a text that the parents get that are like, uh, that's like clickbaity, like... Um, <laughs> Kids walked yeah. into the classroom today, dot, 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 and you'll never believe what happened next. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. All right. Well, cool. It does sound like then there's that there's like a good plan in place for this upcoming, upcoming school, yeah. year, school year, like you were saying. Like, so the website is a main hub. Yeah. Um, some form of uh, like texting, communicate, like direct to parents, um, definitely through seeing uh, kind of surveying their preferences, but then some kind of social media, like public share out um, right. as well. So it seems like if, if we can touch on those three things, it sounds like that's probably pretty key for um, communicating with parents in meaningful ways. Awesome. awesome. Thank cool. you for giving me your time when you're on vacation. <laughs> no worries. It was fun. So My website is fortneytech.com. Fortney is F-O-R-T-N-E-Y. And my Twitter and Instagram are also Fortney Tech. Be sure to subscribe to the Reset EDU channel for the latest project updates and episodes. If you're interested in a reset for your own classroom, be sure to fill out the form at bit.ly forward slash reset edu. Thank you for watching.